Every $200 we raise, another kid will get surgery. We're an incredibly efficient organization. We've set up an online platform to make this as easy as possible for you to contribute and share with your friends. With your help and by reaching out to your friends and colleagues, I know that we can reach the goal of doubling the number of children that receive surgical care next year. Well, our mission is to literally uh, change lives, save lives. There was a woman that lived literally across this dirt road, this one lane dirt road of Paquit. And I didn't know she lived there for the first year and a half. Her name was Virginia. And after I, we'd done several surgeries, her father uh, brought her over to my house and he introduced me. And I mean, I had six months left before I went back to the United States after two years when I was just meeting this woman. Um, and very few people in, in the village knew that she was even um, still alive, and I literally never met her. She had a cleft lip and a cleft palate, it was a very severe cleft lip and palate, so her whole face was really deformed uh, from the nose down. And she's married now, actually. She, uh, we got her surgery. Um, actually, she, I was there when she, I always, I always get real emotional when I talk about her, Hinia. Mm -hmm. But she, uh, I was there when she first saw her face, and her face was swollen because right after surgery, it's, you know, a lot of stitches mm -hmm. and the face is swollen. But um, <clears throat> she, uh, she smiled so broadly that it actually tore, unfortunately, so she had to come back like <laughs> six months later. <laughs> but um, she, it, right now it looks great, and as I said, I went back two years after I finished up as a Peace Corps volunteer, and I couldn't believe that she was married. So, um, we try to get to them, obviously, when they're kids, and so that they don't have this kind of uh, memory even of, uh, you know, being the ostracized person in their community. And that's, those are cleft lips and palates. Uh, now we have a, we work with hundreds and hundreds of midwives who deliver 80% of the kids in, in the rural communities so that they can identify the kids when they're born and to our, our rural um, volunteers and that enables us to get to them before they actually uh, die in the first you know couple months we also do cataracts there's a guy named Francisco he'd been blind for 20 years we, we brought a doctor out to Chisec and cataracts take about 10 minutes to operate on he had dual cataracts uh, his grandson he was nine years old he'd never seen him Dr. Cheatham operated on both eyes and the next day he uh, we took off both the patches. He he could see. I mean, so it's it's amazing. These are really life-changing kind of rebirth type of experiences. And if you'd like to learn more about the organization, please visit www.partnerforsurgery.org. Thank you so much for making our campaign successful.